Hey there everybody, it's me Cody on Microsoft, where today I'll be showing you the latest Redstone 4 build released to Windows Insiders on the fast ring and to those who opted in to skip ahead. Talk of the next Windows 10 release later this spring is already being heard as development of Redstone 4 continues. We're getting to that stage where the final feature set is being decided and preview experiences such as sets have been completely switched off. Despite this, build 17083 contains several new features that won't go unnoticed. The death of Control Panel draws near with each update of Windows 10. One switch at a time, it won't be long before the last lights are shut off and the Windows settings claims its title as the center of configuration on your PC. Recently, we saw a section of sound added to the settings. Now, we have a page of fonts. Here, you'll be able to see all the fonts you have installed on your PC, which are listed with some sample text that help you contrast one from another. Clicking on one of the previews will take you to the detail page of that font. This new details page is much more helpful than the one found in the control panel. Here, you can see all the different weights and styles of a font family in a list whose size can be adjusted with a slider. The ability to type custom preview text is also much more helpful than the pangram. Uh, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. You might recall my demonstration of Bonschrift, the new open type variable font included with Windows. I elaborated on the infinite possibilities of a typeface whose properties could be manipulated so freely, asking you to imagine being able to adjust the weight of a font with a slider. While the text in that video was simply animated, the slider actually now exists. With an open type variable font, you can now use the details page to discover the flexibility of fonts such as Bonschrift with a slider to manipulate its properties with a preview. This, it, it makes me a lot happier than it should. In addition to the new settings experience, Microsoft is stocking the store with fonts. Quite an interesting idea. So out is the idea of an app store. The Microsoft store might eventually be your one-stop shop for any content on your PC. The largest category in the Windows settings just gained a new section. A diagnostics and feedback section found in the privacy settings contains a toggle you can use to enable the diagnostic data viewer. Microsoft analyzes diagnostic data to improve Windows. With how much data modern services use to function, it's no surprise people's growing concern over how and where their data goes. The diagnostic data viewer is all but another way Microsoft is trying to build trust with its users. Here, you can view all the exact diagnostic data that is being collected from your device. Privacy concerns were also expressed over how Timeline manages activities. Activities are in the cloud. The apps and documents you are working on get synced across multiple devices so you can resume a project from one device to another. Some people see it as the equivalent of your internet search history, but for everything on your PC. Everything on all of your PCs. So yeah, there are obviously some privacy concerns. Uh, previously, it was a little difficult managing this list because activities had to be dismissed individually. With this build, you can clear activities from a specific day or hour from a contacts menu. Additionally, a new setting allows you to choose whether or not you want your activities to sync with your Microsoft account in the first place. This setting will be, I believe, disabled by default for people who uh, get this feature for the first time, although Windows Insiders who have installed preview builds might not see this feature or might have it already enabled. So, yeah. Formerly known as Quiet Hours, uh, Focused Assist has some extra options waiting for you in the Action Center context menu everyone who uses that. Uh, set focus assist to priority only, set focus assist to alarms only, and set focus assist to on or off. All right, so this was a brief overview of some of the interesting new features in Windows 10 build 17083. You can take a look at the full list of fixes on our website on Microsoft.com. With all these new features, there are also quite a few issues. No, they won't cause your device to explode, but you'll probably encounter quite a few issues. This has been a quick build update video with me, Cody, on Microsoft. If this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe and check out onmicrosoft.com for more info. Thank you, goodbye. Did I just say that twice? Uh, whatever.